How's it going everybody? Today I have for you the TM680. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Keybox and AliExpress. The link to this keyboard will be in the description below. Upon unboxing this keyboard, I'll be quite honest, it's pretty straightforward, but it comes with everything you need to get started in this hobby. One of my favorite things is that it comes with a dust cover. Not many do. There are two main selling points to this keyboard. It's wireless, and there's a knob. It's only unfortunate that the PCB is north facing switches. The contents include a wireless receiver, type C cable, and a two in one cooler that actually works pretty well. I'll have to say the color to this keyboard is actually quite nice. There's a little bit of speckles inside. The volume rocker is actually very nice. I don't find it cheap at all. These are plate mounted stabs. However, upon further inspection, the legs are flat, so you won't need to be clipping them. I also found them to be very tight, and if you don't want to, it's not necessary to band-aid mount them. I'm going to be putting some KTT mints lubed and filmed with 205G0 and Desky films. They go so well, don't they? Before we start the mods, why don't we listen to its talk? One of the things that really irked me was that it's very hollow inside. I've been really enjoying the sound of using tissues inside the case, so that's what we're going to do today. Oh yeah, and be careful of the battery wire. You don't want to rip that. I actually forgot that the case was see-through, so... Whoops. For the stab setting, I'm going to be using 205G0 rather than dielectric grease. I found that after using so much of the dielectric grease, it makes everything really mushy. I'm just going to be using a heaping large amount of the 205G0 on the wires today. And of course, like always, the housing is going to have 205G0 as well. I've always wondered, what's your preference? More lube or less? For me, it's more. In some of Desky's films, they actually include stickers to put under your stabilizers. Today I'm going to be using those, because I found that they actually make the keyboard sound more talky. All you do is take one of these guys, and put them right where it's going to be under the stabilizer. After all that's said and done, here's what it should sound like. Well, what did you think? Stats play a huge part in the sound of the keyboard. While mine are imperfect, I would never want to neglect them in a build. These two mods will make a huge difference to your build, especially on this keyboard. The features I find myself using often is FN Delete, which changes the different RGB settings that you want to use. I never got this to work, but FN Page Up is supposed to change the knob color. FN Page Down turns on and off the LEDs. 
Fn up or down arrow is your brightness setting. Fn left or right is your RGB effect speed. For $60 to $80, this keyboard is a steal. I actually found myself daily driving this keyboard over my KBD67 Lite. The only major downside is that it has north facing switches. I had a lot of fun building this keyboard, and I really hope you enjoyed the build. Until next time.